Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Gold, and today we're going to take a look at Dinos Not Assembled, which is going to be a two to four player game that is published by Thing 12 Games. Now, in this game, you're going to be trying to impress the archaeologist known as Dawson and he and join a spot on his team to build the best museum exhibit ever. Uh, throughout this game here, you're going to be trying to be the first to build three dinosaurs, and if you are, you're going to win that coveted spot. Let's go ahead down to the table here. I'm going to show you how to play Dino is Not Assembled. Then we're going to come back and I'm going to give you my final thoughts. All right, so this is Dino's Not Assembled. I'm going to show you how to set up and play this game. Now, you're going to start out by placing out the uh, museum board here. And you're going to put this in reach of all the players, but it doesn't need to be like an immediate reach because this is going to be where you're going to be placing your uh, skeletons that you built throughout the game. And the goal of this game is going to be to build, be the first to build three skeletons in order to win. Now, in this game here, you're going to place out the dig board here. You're going to place out these dinosaur cards and shuffle them up. You're going to place out these dino wooden dino meeples, which are really, really cool. Um, out in uh, reach of all the children. Uh, you're going to give these first player tooth to the first player. You can pick that however you want, youngest, whatever. Um, you're going to uh, get these dinosaur tile cards, so these excavation tiles, and you're going to throw them into this dig bag here, or dirt bag here, and you're going to shuffle them up in there and randomize them and set them off to the side for right now. Uh, you'll get each player one of these handy dandy uh, player reference sheets for what they can do on their turn and each player is going to get two dinosaur cards here and they're going to keep them uh, secret. They're going to have the name of the dinosaur, a little fact about the dinosaur and the pronunciation of the dinosaur. But importantly for the game, they're going to show you which tiles you need to be able to build this dinosaur. Now in the game, you can only ever have up to three cards. If you draw more cards, you just discard down to three. Uh, so you're going to keep those in your hand. And you're going to, each player is going to get a dig board. Now there's going to be four different dig boards that they can pick from. So green's going to get the green spot and uh, here, and then the blue will get the blue spot and so on and so forth. So each player is going to get these really nice thick, uh, one of these really nice thick player boards. And that's going to be the setup to the game here. Now to start the game, we're going to place out four tiles in the dig spot. So we'll get four tiles here. Now it's important that they're going to be the green side up. So there's a green and a red uh, icon. We're going to put them on the green side. So the green side basically means that, and we're going to get that to it in a second, that that, car, that tile could be technically stolen. So what are you going to do? Well, to start the game, you're going to take the first player there and you're going to go in turn order. And on the first turn, there's going to be a little bit of a limitation on what you can do for the first turn. So you can either dig, plan, or clear. That's what you can do on the first turn. And you can only pick one of these. Later on, you're gonna be able to get a little bit more, but for this one, just to get started out, you can take one bone car tile from the dig site, It'll take one of them. And then if I do, I'll place it on my board here. It can only ever have up to four. If you have more than four, you're just gonna pick one and discard it. You're going to look at your the kids are going to look at their cards to see what they're trying to get so for myself the, i'll leave these face up but in the game uh, and you can leave them face up it's the first learning game especially with the young kids um, but later on they're going to want to hide them i definitely want to get this tile so i'll place this tile in here on my board and then you place another tile out to end your first turn there and place up the green side up now the other things you could have done on your turn is you could plan and planning just simply means you get to draw another dinosaur card or you can clear, you can remove the four uh, tiles there and set them off to the side. You're gonna place out four new tiles and then uh, you're going to uh, place the tiles that you discarded off the side back into the bag. Once each player has been able to uh, take their first turn, then we're gonna get into uh, the regular game here. And in the regular game, you're gonna have five actions, not the first three that you had in the first turn to get you started. You're going to have five actions to take. In the dig action, you're going to take two tiles 
from the board here. So if it was my turn, I could dig and I could take this tile uh, and I will take this tile. And then I would replace those two tiles out on the board there. I'll place this out and this out, make sure the green side's up. So that's one action. All right, so there's another action in the game here that you can take, it's called steal here. And uh, steal, uh, you can take a tile from another player. So let's say this player was here and let's say the player had this here, which I really, really need. I could steal from that player. I then take this tile, flip it over to the side with the red mark on it, meaning it can never be stolen again. You can only steal tiles once. And then I would give that player the security amiable. Now that player cannot be stolen from until a player without a security amiable is stolen from. So this player is pretty much immune from being stolen from until that happens. Uh, and that's going to be steal. Next, you can do make. Now with make, if I have so let's use this as an example. If I have this and this and this, so I have all three of the tiles I need, I can spend those tiles, which will go into the dirt bag, be available later, and then I get to place my card, my completed dinosaur on my board here. I get to go and get that dinosaur from the different wooden dinosaurs, which look awesome, and then I get to place that on one of my three stands and the goal again is going to be to fill out three of the stands and win. The last thing you can do is you can plan what you're going to draw a dino card and you can put that in your hand. Again, there's a hand limit here for three cards. That's the maximum number of cards you're allowed to have in your hand at any one time. If you go over that, you just need to discard a card. And the last of the five actions you can do is clear. So for clearing again, what I would do is I would take all four of these tiles I would place them off to the side there, and then I would place four new tiles down. And with the green side up. And that's it. So uh, once uh, the player has taken one of their five actions, their turn ends. A player passes to the next player, they're going to do one of the five actions. They're going to continue on until someone builds their third dinosaur. And at that point, they win the game. And that's going to be how you play Dinos Not Assembled. Now, one thing I did want to point out too, uh, which is really cool, is the game comes with a really neat coloring book here. Um, and you can photocopy these if you have multiple kids there so they don't have to fight over it. But I thought the uh, coloring book was pretty cool. So I just mentioned it also comes with a coloring book in the game itself. So again, that's going to be how you play Dinos Not Assembled. Let's go back up to the table here and I'll give you my final thoughts on this game. All right, so that was Dinos Not Assembled. So as you can see, the component quality is great in this game, which is going to be good for kids games because they're going to get a lot of rough and tumble use on it. Uh, so you want, don't want those tiles to wear out too soon or the boards to get all messed up too soon. And these are really well done and will stand uh, repeated use, heavy use. So I really like that. Great card quality on the game too. Love the art on the game. Very bright and dynamic for children. Like that a lot. Uh, now going to gameplay. So gameplay for Dino is not assembled. Who's the target audience on this? This is definitely going to be kids. This is going to be some of the best first games that you can get for kids. This is going to be teaching a lot of different skills for kids uh, that they were going to need for other games in the future. So this is a really good, like, my first game. So this is a great game for that. It's also really engaging and fast. They're not going to be doing a ton of different things on the turn. They pick one thing and do it and then the play moves and by the time uh, they get the thoughts through of what they want to do next it's their turn again so i really appreciate the snappy turns and how quickly the game goes also with clear goals in the game too and it teaches them really good set collection so they're going to try to dig for those tiles there uh, but the other thing they're also going to learn is hey if i can never get the tiles that i need i need to dig for a different dinosaur and build that so 
uh, there's a lot of thought into that. Also, they're going to be paying attention to what other players are doing because, hey, maybe they get that one tile that you need. Well, you can steal it on their turn because they can get the tiles, but they can't build the dinosaur until their next turn. So there's a lot of thought that goes into that, like they're going to be engaged in what the other opponents are doing. And that little security meeple is nice too because although it feel bad maybe to get your tile stolen, it also, you can swing it in a way that it's nice because now they are pretty much immune until someone else gets stolen from. So you can't just keep picking on the same kid and you can't just keep stealing the same tile because it flips over to that red side. All really good things. So this is definitely going to be a great game. And this one is so well, uh, there's a lot of love that went into this game and it's so well designed and such great component quality that is when your kids grow out of the game this is also a great game to give to people that you know who have kids that want to play the game so this gets a lot of mileage out of this game and a lot of replayability out of this game so i really do appreciate it for that i really do think that this is going to be a great game to get uh, especially with the holiday seasons coming up if you're looking for games to get kids to get them engaged in playing board games and stuff this is definitely a really good pick for that and that's my thoughts on dinos not assembled thank you for watching